Hi, everybody. This is Quint Lears with NewHomeSales.com. I'm here with David Acosta in El Paso, Texas. We just did an outstanding training um, on negotiating and fantastic training today. What was your mindset uh, coming into the training today? Well, more than anything, I just wanted everybody to get something of value. Walking out the door today is so like, what is it that one thing that they can all take and put into practice right away and make it work for them and make money? A great job on the class. I got a lot out of the information. Um, one, of the, one of the main things I got was the mindset to invest in yourself. You invest in a lot of training. Tell me some trainings that have been um, real beneficial to you and your career. Well, it's been, um, Rambo Fini was great, getting to understand the referral side of things. Uh, also, all the maps training that I've been getting through Keller Williams has been outstanding. I have gone through a lot of it through it, through personal growth and Tony Robbins and different coaches and different people here and there. But actually, I think that the basics always work. The fundamentals are key. And Keller Williams has always done a great job as far as like uh, promoting those and teaching them free at the offices and then some other regional events and things that you have to pay for it. You, you were talking about investing and you definitely have to invest on it. Time, sometimes money, and then sometimes you wouldn't pay for it. You, you wouldn't pay attention to it, right? And, and David, one of the, you know, the reason we're featuring David Acosta on newhomesales.com is uh, you're one of the top realtors in the country. So um, a lot of realtors just do resale. You're a new home sales expert. Um, great article in the El Paso Times, ranked actually number nine in the country for a number of transactions, 531. That's unbelievable um, by Real Trends uh, out of Colorado. How did you do that? I mean, that? That's unbelievable. Those kind of numbers are, are staggering. How do you accomplish that? Well, those, uh, just to be uh, in full disclosure, I mean, there was a couple of years back and we do a tremendous volume in, but uh, the market shifts, so you have to understand the shifts of the market, and you always have to understand what is the actual main thing. Right now, like new homes are actually about 30% versus 70% in El Paso, uh, new home versus resale. So you gotta keep your focus where the business is. And you can only pump up so many units if, if the units are not there, right? So, uh, but, but the, going back to your point, uh, yes, agents typically just tend to sell regular homes, re resale homes. And when you get into new homes, you have to understand that it's a whole new uh, language, a whole new system, a whole new dynamic. And you're an expert on that. I know you, I have seen you, I have worked with you in, in different different capacities. And uh, you have to really, really like know what you're talking about. Like an inspection and you might not need it on a new home or you might. And, and the process and the, and, and the parties, you, you don't only deal with the buyer and the, and the other agent. In this case, you deal with the other agent, with the buyer, with the company that is actually the builder, their staff, their process, their procedures, their, their steps, the title, how it works a little different. The whole thing, you have to understand that if you don't know it, then you have a little bit of trouble going and do more and more and more units. And we typically do over 300 units, and a lot of those are also new homes. That's amazing, and, and, and you have an inspiring story. Um, you actually were in mar multi-level marketing, stressing out financially, and to go from where you were then to now. And I, um, the great article in the El Paso Times. One of the, the my favorite parts of that article was the one where you said um, never stop improving. And you're you're a little bit mad at the Lowe's, right? Because they they stole that from you, right? Is that That's slogan from me? Yeah. Do you have any legal um, <laughs> recourse for that? Not at all. I wish. No, that could be pretty and I, I would yeah. be upset. That was a great slogan, and they took so Lowe's Home Improvement actually took that from him. That was good. But um, um, anything else you'd like to add? So, I mean, you've been at the top. You've been, you know, what you started at the bottom, came all the way up to the top. There's people that are wanting to enter the business. There's um, new home sales people. There's frontline realtors, buyers reps. Give me some advice to the frontline people. Well, you you have to you have to learn the ropes, and you have to put in the time and the and the and the energy into it. I mean, this business is pretty fun, but it can be very, very consuming. And if you let it, it will take every single drop out of you. So it's very important that you actually know how to prioritize and you actually know how to get organized and time block. And the fact that we're a lot of times self-employed, it doesn't help us with that because we, we're, we're a mess. Now, when you're working with a company as a builder rep, it's a little different because they give you a schedule and sometimes you're in salary. And even if you're in commission, I mean, you still have to get organized and follow that schedule. 
So I think that it's very important that on your schedule, you say, okay, yes, I have personal time. You also have appointment time. You have training time and you have time for follow-up, but you actually put it on the schedule and prioritize and you say every single time, every single week, I'm gonna follow this and I'll plug in my personal, my learning time, my doing business, my following up, my renegotiating time. All of those things are gonna be very useful. If not, your whole life and your whole day is gonna be up and down to whatever they call you. You're gonna be there and show up and, and, and you're gonna disappoint a lot of people in the process if you just go without the schedule. Great, great advice. W one last thing. I mean, you're not just in El Paso now. You are in um, California, and, and and you're growing in San Diego, Los Angeles. That that's a lot to overcome. So so, why do you do it? Because you don't need to. You could stay right here in El Paso. Why grow the business? Tell me what gets you up in the morning. Why push yourself so hard? Why strive uh, to win? Why Starbucks has multiple locations? Even if you, if they put it across the street from each other, they actually can have a a little bit of the business being across the street, but they know that they're gonna capture more business that way. So uh, one of the things is that on my schedule is not on the, on the weekly schedule, but on the timeline, it's like, how am I gonna get out of the business? And for me to get out of the business, if I just have one location, it's great, but I decided to go to California for two reasons. My family and my daughter's desire to actually the actresses and me getting the Hollywood and the whole thing. But uh, I was able to, to support it because of, of my real estate business. And, and, and when I said, if I go there and the price point is really nice and higher, why not? Now the thing about it is like, how many can I do that I can actually get out of the business and enjoy my daughters and enjoy my family even more and have more time without necessarily having to sell all the time. Us salespeople, we, we don't think like that. We say like, oh, if this happens, that happens, I'll just go back to sales and I'll sell because I can do that. But we exercise that muscle without thinking, how do I get out of it? So I, I don't know you, I love this business, but I don't want to be selling when I'm 60, 70, 80 years old because I want to sell, just because I need to. If I want to, yes, but I think that my position and my, my um, um, the way that I'm going to be positioned at that point is going to be completely different than need to do sales. So that's why I started like multi opening up multiple locations. Fantastic. And I know you're growing a team. Uh, David has one of the number one teams in the country, one of the top selling, producing teams. Um, how would, a, a, let's say, a young realtor, professional, somebody who wants to be part of a winning team, how can we connect with you? Well, you can, you can just shoot me an email, david at david-acosta.com. And you can call me at the office, 915-500-1100. Um, but more than that, I mean, or you can hit me on Facebook. I think if you pull in all that information now, we can connect many different ways, right? You cannot hide from anybody. But um, that is important. Now, what you're talking about, opening up different offices, is giving the opportunity to everybody on my team to step up to a leadership role, to run the team, to run the business, to actually have opportunity to actually have an override from everybody that actually sells on it. And that is important because I need to show them and teach them how to actually get themselves removed out of the business as well. Like for example, you, I mean, you can only do so much by yourself. And if you're just limited to your own time and your own schedule, your business can only grow so much. So you need to duplicate and help people get what they're doing, what you're doing and where you want to accomplish. And then you just paint the whole picture. And congratulations again on your success. Fantastic training. If you missed the training this morning, you missed out. The room was packed. Everybody left super pumped up. Uh, you made a big impact. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Thanks again. Again, this is Quint Lears with the David Acosta. David Acosta here in El Paso, Texas. Fantastic office, by the way. It's beautiful. You.